check this out. Uh, I'm pretty excited because today what I'm going to try to do is kind of uh, an unboxing slash review. I ordered the brand new Fender uh, Acoustasonic Telecaster and I'm what I'm hoping this guitar is going to be for me, you've probably seen what I do. I'm here in my studio with like all of my looping gear and everything uh, that I've got going on. And what I'm hoping that this guitar is going to do for me is I use a lot of different sounds in my setup. And I'm hoping that it's going to allow me to incorporate some electric tones into my acoustic set. I used to actually carry two different guitars. I carried my acoustic guitar and my electric guitar, and I would play them both during my set transition. Sometimes during songs, I would try to actually switch instruments. And this gives me a way to hopefully be able to incorporate both of those at the same time. And so today what we're gonna do is see if that's possible. I'm also super excited because I get to unbox it, and you're gonna be here with me as I actually like open it up. Uh, you've probably seen videos like this before, if you want to skip it, I will have uh, notes at the bottom as far as where to skip to. Cool. Here we go. Right, I've been playing a lot of uh, mini guitars lately. So, pretty nice shaped foam here. Down to the floor. Um, Dean shift here. So, all right. Sorry that last video got cut off. I decided to go with a different angle uh, with the GoPro, <laughs> which makes me look really tall. But, uh, to be able to get it out of the box here. So here we go. I needed two hands. All right. That aside. Here she is. Acoustasonic Telecaster. I opted to go with the matte black finish. Wow, it's so light. Holy cow. Oh, let's. I want to look at the case some more, but I also want to check this out here. Oh man, can you can you see that? Is there too much glare? All right, yeah, man. I love that the uh, the Fender logo. I don't know if you can see that, but that's actually uh, it's burned into the wood there, which is a really nice touch. Oh man, the neck feels really nice. Yeah, the, I didn't realize that the knobs would be a, a wood. It's kind of like the same texture of the the fretboard. It's kind of this ebony sort of texture that we got going on here. So what I'm gonna do, I suppose I should. Ooh, it's in tune. You saw me take it out of the box. You know. It's pretty good. I'll have to tune it up. Surprisingly loud for such a shallow body. Um, but I've been hearing a lot about this recessed heel, and that is nice. And I'm excited to take this on the road. See the, the neck, you can see the truss rod here. Cool. Let's go ahead and see if I can get this plugged in for you and see if we can get some sounds. All right. So what I've got going on here is I have the Offender Acoustasonic guitar and I have it plugged in, quarter inch cable going directly into my Apogee Ensemble, right into Pro, Pro Tools. So I, I, I literally, there there is one thing between my signal chain and what you are hearing and that is the actual Apogee Ensemble. I'm gonna play some things. Uh, everyone, every single video out there has taken you through the paces. I wanna actually uh, play this and experience it with you the first time just to see what everything sounds like. Right now I have it in uh, position five, which, which is the position all the way towards the neck. Uh, the blend control, when I actually went to go access it, I literally hadn't touched it um, also, I've tuned it up, by the way, but I hadn't touched it at all, uh, and it was kind of in the middle. So I'm going to the clockwise position, and it's crazy um, the amount of clarity that there is. I know that this is 
closer to the aura imaging and I actually should stop talking because otherwise I'll have to blend the audio for my microphone with what you're actually hearing on the guitar so which it's crazy that even though the piezo pickup is going that you almost hear nothing from the um, surface of the guitar in that first position <laughs> pretty good. Alright, position B of the position 5. Ooh, I already hear that rounded, that rounded bottom end. previously uh, the B, but now I've switched it to A. I like that. That's nice. Now switch to position three. And that's where you start to hear that top. off of my hand on it. And this activates, I believe, the body sensor. sensor back in. That's so tasty. And now the first one I believe that this is the, the dreadnought. And this is with the electric mixed in. Honestly, say right now, uh, I have no interest in using that blended tone. 
you know, I, I'm glad that Fender still included it. Someone probably out there is going to want that tone. Uh, that's just not my thing. Uh, blending acoustic guitars and electric guitars, you know, because there's no way to split it at the actual um, quarter inch cable. You know, you're probably just not going to uh, be able to split that signal. I, 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 if I were able to do that, if I were able to send my electric signal one place and my acoustic signal another, if I had that option with like a TRS stereo cable or something, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. But now this is the position that I'm really interested in getting into is the, the this five position. Again, there's nothing between the guitar and what you're hearing. So I'm really interested. And you can actually already hear if you have your headphones turned up or if you're listening on good speakers, uh, there is actually a hum. Uh, and I don't believe it's because of the lights or anything. Like this is actually just a hum uh, being picked up on the guitar. Ooh, and that's already overdriven. So here's that clean tone. You know, which actually sounds pretty good. Uh, I will say that uh, I can tell that it sounds like uh, a Telecaster strung with acoustic guitar strings because these are phosphor bronze. These aren't the regular nickel um, strings that you would have on your guitar. But Sounds pretty good though, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, being able to overdrive this signal, I would feel pretty confident. I'm gonna switch to the uh, overdriven position. Ooh, that sounds, okay, <laughs> already. <laughs> already this is awesome. <laughs> Man, it does the overdriven sound better than it does the clean sound. Sounds great. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, that's <laughs> this. Look, that sound like far exceeds my expectations. It feels so good under your hand. Um, All right, so first thoughts and impressions here. Um, the Fender Acoustasonic, Fender's been making electric guitars and I, full disclaimer, um, I own quite a few Fender guitars and Fender basses. My go-to bass to be able to perform is a Fender Jazz bass. I, my Telecaster that I have uh, it's a deluxe, I think it's early 2000s uh, Fender Telecaster, that's, I'm never selling that guitar, Stratocasters in my mind, that's what I think of when I think of electric guitar tone, and that's what I want from my own tone. So I was really skeptical when I saw the Fender Acoustasonic Telecaster announced, that, and here's the reason why. I've played Fender acoustic guitars, and I have to admit that when I think of acoustic guitars, Fender is not the first name that comes to my mind, by far. But with this Telecaster, this hybrid, what 
I remember when the Taylor T5 was announced and I was hoping that it was going to be basically this, uh, that I was going to be able to have a guitar that would be able to do acoustic tones, that would be able to do electric tones, and it's finally arrived. Uh, I owned uh, a T5, a Taylor T5, and I was not thrilled. Um, the acoustic tones on it sounded quacky and the electric tones on it just frankly didn't sound all that musical and I owned the first generation T5 so I don't know how far they've come since uh, their inception and what was that like 2004, 5, 3, 5? 2005 I think is when it was but anyway the Acoustasonic Telecaster which uh, you can kind of see right there in the, the distance one of the things that I'm thrilled with this guitar is that I'm hoping it's going to be able to bring me back the ability to do some more percussive things with the guitar another thing that it actually integrates is that it's a really good sounding acoustic guitar plugged in which that's 98 percent of the time that i'm playing acoustic guitar because i have my looper pedal set up that's how i'm playing it so i needed something that was going to be able to handle that the other thing with this guitar that I'm super excited for is the ability to be able to switch tones on the fly. What I've done in the past, because I also play bass, um, is I've switched instruments live when I would have solo shows, which is kind of a crowd killer. People want to see that. They want to be like, ooh, you're bringing in something new. But I got to admit, like that factor aside, it's really inconvenient unless you're really fast in, at switching instruments, which I am not. I'm a huge klutz on stage. I'm six foot three. Uh, I have very little coordination <laughs> when it comes to instruments and when it comes to like my comfort moving around on stage. So anyway, um, what I will say is this. I love the idea of this guitar and actually right now I'm a fan of its execution I thought I was going to be which is why I ordered this as soon as I found out about it and as soon as I watched the videos and heard what it can do I've been p playing previously I, I own um, a mini Mate guitar it's a travel sized guitar that I've been playing the piezo pickups on that sound pretty decent um, I haven't been too thrilled with it right now just because the neck doesn't have a truss rod I owned a Taylor GS mini I owned uh, both the Generation 2 and the Generation 1 GS Mini. I've owned uh, Taylors, I've owned Takaminis, I've owned every, uh, practically every acoustic guitar. I'm an acoustic guitarist at heart. And so take it from me when I say this, there's some really cool things happening. There are some strange things happening, I will say, with some of the modes, especially like the acoustic imaging, especially when doing things like mutes. I noticed that um, there were some percussive elements that I was expecting from the pickup that weren't there. Uh, I'll have to investigate further, but... Aside from that, you know, I'm thrilled with uh, the purchase so far. I'm excited to get it out on the road. One thing I've never been a big fan of, and this is a completely aesthetic sort of gripe of mine, is the acoustic outer shell. I know that they want to indicate people to people visually that this is something different, that this is not an electric guitar. And I think that the sound hole does that, but I have to admit that I wish the outer border of the guitar were black as well. I don't know that I'm down with the appearance of it completely. Uh, who knows, it might grow on me. But aside from that, you know, I have to be honest, the neck feels great, the action feels great, everything on it, I'm loving so far. So, cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that this was informative to you singer-songwriters out there that are trying to, you know, figure out if this guitar is a good purchase or not. So, thanks.